friends, this is Emily with BurlapKitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Today we're going to be making something fun using an empty bottle of creamer, a foam ball, um, which I actually think I saw some of those at Dollar Tree last time I was there. Um, then I'm going to be using a frayed knot paint line in marshmallow, some antique wax, a drop cloth, some cardboard that I corrugated. To do this you just soak it in some warm water. Let it sit for a little bit, a minute or two, and then the other part of the cardboard will uh, pull right off and then you'll have some corrugated cardboard to work with. Some wired twine, um, I have a makeshift funnel. So first we're gonna work with this little makeshift funnel. I just got some paper and rolled it up. We're just gonna add some rice to the bottom of this creamer bottle. You wanna make sure you're working with a clean, dry bottle of creamer, empty bottle of creamer. We're adding some rice just for a little bit of weight. And now I'm going to take some tape and I am just going to tape over the opening. So the little red cap that comes on them, we didn't need that so I just tossed that because we're not going to be using that. So I want to make sure this is taped up really well because I don't want any rice to come out while I'm putting this project together. Looks pretty good to me. So. Now we're going to work with this drop cloth and you can see I was trying to show you there I got a little bit of coffee from my last project on there. I must have spilt some on there. Um, it's fine. I don't think you're going to see it too much. So this is all the more drop cloth I had. So I'm literally using the last of what I had th that's big enough for this project. So I just sit it in the middle and then I pull it all up around and then I would cut it if I had a bigger piece. A lot of people ask me about measurements. I literally never measure anything. I just sit it in the middle, wrap it up around, and then I cut. So that's what I, now I'm just gonna, I sat my um, creamer bottle in the middle of all that, of that fabric that was cut, which I said was actually all that I had left. So I sat that creamer bottle in the middle and I just pulled all of that up and gathered it at the top. Now I'm gonna tie a piece of twine around it this really helps if you have another person to help you to tie that knot while you hold everything in place. I didn't, so um, that's why I'm tying two, two pieces here. So I tied the first one to just kind of get it on there and hold it in place. Now I'm going to take another piece of twine, and I am pulling these pieces up to get it as tight to the bottle as I can and to get it to look the way I want it. So now I'm going to put another piece of twine on and really secure it better this time. And I'm just going to trim my twine and I'm going to put just a little dab of hot glue around it just to sort of hold it in place, a little extra security. And let's go ahead and trim this up around here. Now if you wanted to, you could leave this longer for now and play around with the um, neck of the angel if you wanted to when you're finished. So just wait and see this finished project and go from there before you make yours. That way you can see how you want to do it. So now I'm going to take this foam ball and I'm going to sort of do the same thing and just wrap it around the foam ball. I'm adding a little bit of glue just to hold everything in place good. And I'm just going to gather it up nice and tight down at the bottom. And then I'm just going to take a piece of twine and tie that around the base of the foam ball. And I'm going to go ahead and trim that up. And that is actually going to be the head of the angel. I actually don't even know if I told you guys what we're making yet. We're making an angel. So now I'm just going to go ahead and glue that on top. I want that fringe kind of sticking out over. Um, you could do more fringe. You could do less fringe. I'm cutting a little bit off. And actually after I did it, I wish I would have left a little, a little more on there. But um, it is what it is, and I still think it's super cute. I'm going to go ahead and just glue that. Make sure you get the, look at your, when you glue that to the top, look at both sides of your pieces and make sure you have the nicest pieces to the front. I'm going to glue a little bit of that fringe down and then I'm just going to fray this. I'm kind of going for a very like rustic, rough, fringy look on this one. So I went ahead and pulled some of those fringes out. Now I'm taking that corrugated cardboard that I told you about. Remember, we just soaked it in some warm water and then we sat it to dry for like two minutes and then that other piece of cardboard you can see I have regular cardboard there that just peels right off and you'll have this cute corrugated cardboard to work with so now I'm using a little bit of the afraid not marshmallow paint and I'm just gonna dry brush this right one 
And in the beginning, I showed you a different color of the Afraid Not paint line. I'm only using one color. I kind of changed my mind halfway through the project. So now I'm taking some antique wax and I'm sort of doing the same thing. I like to dip my brush in it and then wipe a little bit off and then go ahead and start brushing one. I'm just trying to get the, the rusty look here. So you want to do like a little darker in some spots and not so dark in other spots. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure everything's nice and dry. Now I'm going to glue my angel wings on. And I kind of messed this part up a little bit. It's kind of hard sometimes trying to. I'm always like looking at the camera. Have one eye on the camera, one eye on my project. And I got the wings a lot lower than what I wanted to. And I also got my um, raffia not looking the way that I wanted to. But when I skip here to the next scene, I'll show you. I fixed both of those. Um... I applied them both the same way. I just didn't think it was necessary to go through all that all over again. So that's exactly how I did the twine bow. You'll see here in the next scene, I actually moved the wings up higher and I made the bow a little bit thinner. See, you can see there where the wings are up higher. So now we're going to take some Spanish moss and some wired twine. With the wired twine, we're just going to make a little halo for this guy. Um, you can get wired twine at Hobby Lobby. I heard they have it at um, Dollar Tree sometimes. If you can't find the wired twine, I think a silver or a gold pipe cleaner would look cute for this project too. I'm just going to cut it to size, and now there's a little bit of wire. I kind of um, peeled some of that wire out. I peeled some of the twine off the wire, and I'm just going to stick it right into the back of the angel's head. Just like that. And now I'm going to add some a big glob of glue around here for some extra security. And now I'm just going to take some Spanish moss and glue it right to the top of his head. Now, you could add a face to the angel if you want to. I, I know I've told you guys this before. I am not artistic at all. So I googled a bunch of pictures of DIY angels and stuff like that. And I saw that hardly any of them had faces. So... I decided I just want to put a face on this, but if you wanted to, you could maybe glue two little button eyes on and maybe like a draw a little mouth with a fabric marker or something like that. So I also thought it'd be super cute to make like a little Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus this way. Um, so there's tons of ideas for this one. So I thank you so much for joining me for this DIY. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more great ideas just like this one, please visit burlapkitchen.com. Thank you.